you ever overdone it and ended up with sore, aching muscles? I do that all the time. And today we are going to make a soothing bath soak with Epsom salt and essential oils that will ease those sore muscles and make you feel like a new human being. So we're going to start with plain Epsom salt. You don't want any for extra fragrances in there because we're going to add our own pure quality oils to them that we know are not toxic and have no fillers, no pesticides, no nothing yucky in it. So we want just plain Epsom salt to make our nice soothing soak. And this is my favorite bath soak. It, I call it my red, white, and blue blend. It has wintergreen, which is kind of a pink color from doTERRA. It, wintergreen has methyl salicylate. It's their main co constituent in the essential oil and is analgesic and anti-inflammatory, which is exactly what we're looking for when we have sore muscles. So we're gonna use wintergreen, that's our red. The white is Siberian fir. This also has a lot of analgesic and anti-inflammatory properties. It's very, um, it's got a lovely smell. It's kind of woodsy and it blends nicely. The blue is doTERRA's deep blue soothing blend. This has, pardon me if I read it, um, contains winter green, so we're gonna add a little more of that. Camphor, peppermint, lang lang, helichrysum, blue tansy, blue chamomile, and osmanthus. So those last three are the blue color that gives it its, helps give it its name for deep blue. So this also has a lot of anti-inflammatory and analgesic properties to it. I have two cups of Epsom salt in my bowl, plain Epsom salt, and I'm gonna add some essential oils. So we're gonna start with the wintergreen. So that's our, this is our red, white, and blue. We're gonna add our red. And I'm gonna add 10 drops. I usually add between a half and a full cup of Epsom salt to my bath. So that'll be about, give you between two and a half to five drops of this oil. You can always add more if, as if you decide that you like more, but it's hard to take it out. So we're gonna add our wintergreen. And then our white is our Siberian fur. And our blue is our deep blue. Now if you have real sensitive skin, then I would cut back on the deep blue. Right now, I have more. I always have more. I would cut back on the deep blue um, just because it's a warm oil. I don't have any problem, but some people are a little more sensitive to it and find that it, it gets a little warm to them and they don't like to sit in, in a bath with it. So if you find that you're using an oil and it get, seems a little warm to you, you want to dilute with another oil, a carrier oil coconut oil, olive oil, jojoba oil, um, grapeseed oil, anything like that, that will help dilute it down, take the warm away. If you add, try and wash it off with water, you're gonna drive it in further and make it hotter. So I honestly have no problem with this. I actually use a lot more than I'm putting in here. So I think you'll be fine with this. And we're gonna mix her up. So it's spread around. When you are using essential oils in a bath, doesn't matter what essential oils, you want to add them to something before you add them to the water because oil and water don't mix. So if you add them to Epsom salt, table salt, um, baking soda, um, Himalayan pink salt, whatever you want to add them to, to put in your bath, then it will disperse evenly throughout the water and you'll have a nice evenly dispersed soak that, that cut to um, soothe your body. The warmth makes the essential oils 
um, evaporate into the air so you can breathe them in and you get the aromatherapy part of it too plus it absorbs through your skin you might even taste them and that is okay just so you're aware it's a little different when you first start using essential oils to actually taste oils that get put on your skin but that's it dispersing throughout your body and doing its job and getting into every cell in your body so this is nicely mixed. I'm just going to pour it into a jar, label it, and put it in my bathroom to be used. So I between a half and a, one cup of, of salts in there, add it to your nice warm bath and enjoy. like this click like below and subscribe we're going to be making lots more fun diy projects using essential oils thanks for joining me